Hmm, that stuff strips like shit. What is this kind of wire? Really weird, stiff, crappy wire. The red one is okay, the gray one is not so much. That poor dog. Not happy. What's this gray wire? Really shitty wire. So this is a plus and this is minus, okay. Our thing. It's getting dark in here again. On the other side, we're gonna use a, a DC barrel connector. If I can manage to strip this annoying shitty wire, which I'm uh, not sure. And I don't have my normal strip. No, oh, okay. I think this works better than using the thing. dog is uh, going uh, wacko. Okay, so we got this. Yay, so Hot glue is ready to go. So I'm just gonna put a few dots here and there. Let me see, there must be room for a fan here, so. Hello. Come on. Let's see if we can just force it in. Oh, well, there it is. not the nicest job. <laughs> I'm gonna build up a wall a little bit. From both sides. Might actually be a little bit too hot. good enough it stays upwards it's, uh, but only just tack down this inverter nice it's not I think the hot glue is a little bit too hot Takes a really long time to dry or solidify actually. 
it's not actually drying. Okay, that looks awesome. Now I'm gonna put the thingy over here, something like this. Kind of hate using hot glue, it's kind of the, the lame ass method. It's fast, but it's dirty, and stuff is not very much reusable. Oh, it looks like crap as well. Well, fuck those wires. So, there you have it. <laughs> it's amazing. We could add a fan if I had one. I only have a big one, I think, somewhere here. So it's not going to fit in the fridge, but for another method it might be useful. Uh, of course this thing is only acting, only one stripe is like making ozone, could be way more. You can use multiple tapes to uh, achieve that. Uh, look at the fan. There, an arrow, it blows that way. So in this case you could do both, let it blow past it or like suck air, doesn't really matter. But in this case, I'm not going to use a fan because it's not going to fit in my freezing part of the fridge. So, uh, yeah, let's move on to the fridge and I'm going to close the lid and just let it sit there for a while. But before I do, I'm first going to check real quick what ozone does to the plastic because I'm something in my mind is telling me it, it hurts the plastic and I can imagine it's not so much of a big deal if you have it in there for half an hour or something but just let me look it up before I uh, fuck over my new fridge although it is kind of fucked already because it's a new fridge and it smells like fish so, so and I cannot get rid of it so uh, I'll look it up real quick also I'm not responsible for anything if you make something like this and you hurt yourself or kill yourself by um, pumping too much ozone in a small room, be my guess, but it's not my fault. So, as I thought, it is kind of a sort of a myth. Although it does hurt, it might hurt plastics over a long time if you use it for a long time. But uh, there is no evidence, well, at least they, they those people, uh, say uh, that it will hurt the rubber or the plastics. Uh, uh, and, well, Usually people use the, the thing for days on end and that might hurt it in the end because it actually burns the odor away So it can hurt the plastics as well But if you give it a sort of a shock treatment like four hours with uh, loads of ozone, it's not a big deal But uh, I don't have a this one is not generating a lot of ozone at all It's just a tiny amount, but I just want to know if it helps if you put it in there for a few hours and see what it does uh, and I might be able to make this more efficient. So yes, this is in fact my toilet, but I needed a dark spot to show you what is happening. So, hop. You see it? You can see all the blue. That's the plasma that creates the ozone. And it's become uh, really smelly in here, so... <laughs> and then the door won't open. But that's the ozone. You can see it here in the, in the light as well, a tiny bit. See the purple stuff? Not sure why it's not doing that. 
while it's dark. You can hear it too. So let's get it into the fridge. Ah, here are the previous remedies, people say. Use some uh, coffee. Doesn't do shit to me at least. Except for creating a mess because I will bump it over. Second version is using uh, a sign. Forgot the name again. Should remove odors as well. Not doing it. Because now it just <coughs> smells like. Just gonna remove the uh, excess moist. Because I want a nice benchmark of fish smell <laughs> and not the stuff I put in there before. Also, condensed and high voltage doesn't uh, well work all that well together. Although I must say, it smells a little bit fresher already. But I thought I cleaned it very well and then closed the lid and after an hour I opened it and it was still smelling like rotten fish. Hmm. It's hard to show of course because it's uh, a video, you, doesn't, you don't smell anything. So there you go, this is gonna sit like here. Plug it in. You can hear the nice sound already. Here, I'll move you in. Really nice smell. Fridge is not on. Now question is, is it still on? Because I don't know. Wow, that's some isolating, uh, you don't hear anything. So I'm not sure. I'll just leave it like this, drink some more coffee and come back in like maybe half an hour just for uh, try it out. Don't want to screw up my uh, fridge of course. Now you can't hear shit. So I'm really curious if this works. I'm pretty happy because uh, otherwise uh, I had to buy a new fridge again. I'll leave you at this height. So let me charge up the phone and we'll uh, get back to it in half an hour or so. Yay, let's see. Is it still on? That's the question. It is. <laughs> Let me take a whiff, I wanted to say, but <coughs> it's definitely on. Okay, so I, uh, whew. that smells, it's not like terrible, it's just like, a bit like, I don't know. Here's your nose, your nostrils. Oh, what the fuck is this? Ah, some hot glue fell off. Whew. So uh, as you can see, there is no, uh, there's nothing in the fridge. So if I want to do this compartment, uh, of course I will remove the the food because I have no clue what it does to the food. Maybe nothing. I don't know. But this was the most terrible one because, um, well, the fish like make a puddle here of stinky goo. Well, there's definitely no. 
no fish smell at all. But, hmm, who knows? I'm just gonna blow a little bit. Get some of this stuff out. Close the lid and uh, power it on, and see what we got. I'm really curious. It doesn't. It doesn't smell like fish at all. But I do smell, of course, ozone. So, hmm. Not sure. Let's uh, power it up and um, see. I don't smell fish. Here, I do smell fish still. Yeah, definitely. Whew. It, it, it was dripping like uh, from here onto all, all of this. So I might have to do the same in the, the normal fridge department, not the freezing part. Shall I first power it up and see what it does? I guess. And then remove all the stuff <clears throat> and do the same for a longer period of time because it's a way bigger space. So, um, we need some power. works because I don't want to buy a new fridge just because I had no power for a few hours but anyhow this is how you make something like this uh, you can make it far 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 more efficient use a fan as well and you should be able to get rid of smoke smells as well I tried it once in a sort of the same method in the in a, in a place that smelled a lot like smoke but I'm not sure if it worked I have to retry it I might do a video about it, although smell is kind of a problem of course with video because there's nothing to see, but uh, yeah, here there is still some odor. Let's wait and see, but uh, thanks for watching, it's completely different than speakers and um, why not, I mean come on. See you next time, bye bye.